Lance here with Pro Escapes out in our Lake Wisconsin project. We have Adam, Kevin. Adam and Kevin and Lyle and uh, Brady were just here, but they had to leave and go unload a truck. But yeah, we just finished up the project up here and wrapping it up. Look at that, always falls. Looks fantastic. Um, I was asking Bobolo earlier. What he told me is it's just more grade, why we have so many falls. But I really like the amount of spots where it, it falls. We got like, I don't even know, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, like eight just in this stream right here. Yep. Adds a lot of noise. Yep, it's just a grade we just had to add out, but all the dirt we dug out for the basins and for the stream part, we just kind of flipped over and that's where the outside edge is kind of Okay, I'll tell you how you brought that up. So with the outcroppings on the outside being so large, that's also, I mean, not just because of the, the grade, but to bounce some, yeah, some it's sound so this way too. Yeah, kind of dig them out and that way, it, once it's the stream, you over dig and then you start setting rocks and then it, you put it to uh, neck it down and turn. So it turns different ways. So it's not like a straight line. And it just kind of looks natural, like it, the water came through it over time. Yeah, it looks really natural in the, uh, I mean, all the plants that are in now, blending everything together in the outcropping area. Looks completely finished. I think the, when I was here last, you guys were still getting the seam done over here. Yeah, so there's been a lot that's happened in the past two days. I mean, what would you say was the most challenging or time consuming part of this upper falls? The gas line was a little low and uh, it was wet. We've had a lot of rain out here. So dealing with the mud, and trying to get dry stuff to set stuff on. So we brought a little dirt to kind of mix in with the wet dirt to make it a little firm. Okay. But it was just dealing with mud and dealing strapping the boulders was rough because it gets wet and muddy and you're trying to do it. So it just makes everything take a little slower so you're careful so people don't get hurt on it. Yeah, pretty much but, this whole project's been a mud slide. Yeah. At very yeah, few days like, like this. Yeah, I think we had a total of five maybe six days without rain on this whole job and it's been three weeks so yeah yeah <laughs> of course the best day so far is the very final day you guys yeah. getting out of here early but it's it's nice a nice breeze coming so i mean we addressed the the lower edge or the lower half in uh the previous video this whole like third or quarter yeah, i know we a lot of times wait to the very end to do that across the whole project but bob was saying that because of the rain and the animals out here you didn't want to leave it muddy over here no, because their downspouts actually where adam sits oh yeah that's where the water comes off their house and it kind of goes into the stream so on both both sides and we're kind of working our way out as we go yeah we had a lot of people here so it was just kind of do that section while they do that finish that up we can move on to this section and the next section is go yeah very efficient and the grass work was surprising to me how little had to be done i mean you also a quick got, strip down the side it actually probably is a little bit more than we wanted because of the mud because it kind of slid the machines down a little bit farther yeah but it's not too bad not too wide so no not at all other than that i like it the falls are nice yeah, that was gonna be my next question, or what are your first impressions of the project here? I like it. Yeah, something to be proud of for sure. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a lot of work, and nice to see it all finished up and working. And so, no leaks, so that's awesome. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> a question I had was about the lights. I know we put in some FX luminaire and then a couple of puck lights. Yup, we have the billiard lights. All these metal things have lights underneath them and then we have lights in the, the streams going up falls so you got fall lights you got stream lights all the way up yeah so we got some lights down in that stream too quite a few lights in this stream that's going to light up very well at night it's going to be real cool view from up there and you're looking down yeah so the whole thing this we got all our furry furry animals out here all the time yeah they've been good company good company yeah you guys are already done cleaning up too it's pretty much do this walk through and get out of here right yep nice we are good to go. Well, I'll let you guys get back to home base. All right. Well, I'm Lance signing out. Like, subscribe, and follow.